Hi, in this video we're going to be covering monitoring your devices. This process is fairly straightforward, but there's just a few things that I want to point out to make it very simple. After the initial discovery of the network, some devices may show data, other ones may not. So first we're going to cover agent and agentless devices. After installation of the first agent, typically data will be relayed back automatically, as in CPU, memory, and so forth. One way to verify monitoring status on a device is to right-click, Go to Settings, and choose View Monitoring Status. All of the monitors that you're looking to collect data for should be successful, no failures, and give you a consecutive list of how many times they've been successful. This is a good way to tell if all the monitors and data that you've set up are being relayed correctly. Now let's choose a non-agent device. We have a device here that is showing is down in the studio and there's no credentials set. Okay, so the two things that we need to do for this system are verify that SNMP is enabled and the community string is set accordingly so that we can make sure that it shows data in the studio. It's already been added once, so I've got a remote session here that I'm going to go to very quickly to this one device and go ahead and pull up the SNMP service to see if it's currently running, and it is not. Before I do so, I'm going to go ahead and check properties to make sure and see what the community string is set for. And there's no community string set in here, so I'm going to go ahead and give it public. Click on Add, and also make sure that I accept SNMP package from any host is selected. I'm going to click on Apply, OK, and go ahead and start the SNMP service. At this point, I want to go back into the system and choose Settings, Manage Credentials, and make sure the credential that I've just put in there is either in the drop-down list or I've added it. I can see public here, so I'm just going to click on public, click on apply, okay, and give it a few moments or so to come back and it should refresh and start showing us some type of data. And we're going to go ahead and search this IP address now. And as you can see here, that device now is currently giving us all the data that we need to see. Now on a networking device, we want to basically go log on to the device, verify that SNMP is enabled, and the community string is set the same as well. So I've got a SonicWall device here that we're looking at, and if we go into the administration section, we can see that enable lesson MP is enabled, or option is checked, and we also have the community string set the same. The other location where you need to enable SNMP is on the LAN. So if we go to configure here, it's going to give the option to enable SNMP as well on this interface. Once that's been done, we should be able to go back to the studio, find that SonicWall device, and get data for it. And again, we can right click very easily, click on settings, view monitoring status, and this will give us a good glimpse into what's, what's working and what's failing here. And as we can see, we've got a config backup here monitor that's failed, but that's not relevant for this one system, so the error message is error function failed or not implemented. Once you have devices and you're getting data for them, then the way that this works is you want to get them into the appropriate policies by choosing configure, reassign to policy, and for this one SonicWall device, I want to make sure it's in the global networking policy. And based on that one networking policy, that is where I can start going in here and manipulating my monitors accordingly in terms of the intervals, which monitors I'm looking to grab, as well as the alerts, which we cover in another video.
Thank you very much.